Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Swift Creek Customs, and today I have a tutorial that I'm going to share with you step by step on how you can turn a square design and you can change that into a circle. I've seen this asked a few times on different groups for different cutting machines. People are taking these designs and using them for multiple purposes. So I went out to Creative Fabrica and I chose a design that I would personally want to create. And the first thing I would recommend is that to check and see if the designer has this design already in that circle shape that you are looking for or whatever you're looking to create with it because that's going to save you some steps and just grab the file and use that. In this case, I did search and it didn't have it. So I downloaded the design and I unzipped the file. Now, the next steps that you have to take will be dependent on your file that you purchased or the file you're using. I'm going to come up to file open. And in this case, my sea turtle shadow box is in different layers and all it has six layers total. And all of those layers are a different file. So you need to open all of the layers of the file and bring them into one design mat. I used file open and the cut only option for all of these layers. Now, once you have all of your layers for your entire file, you wanna keep in mind that when you are working with the, a layered file like this, that you need, if you're going to scale it up or scale it down, you need to work with all of those layers at the same time and scale up or down at the same time. The other thing to mention here is keep in mind the files that you are working with. All designs are going to be created differently. This was designed at eight inches square, which means that those are the sizes that it was designed to cut at. You may be able to enlarge that and have no problems cutting, but if you take that down in size, if I just select everything and scale it down, if I wanted to cut this at a three inch size, those are going to be some tiny, tiny pieces. So keep that in mind when you're working with files. Every single file is going to be different, but I'm going to give you the steps that you can take in order to try this technique. So I'm just going to hit Control Z to undo. In this tutorial, it is a great example of using the layers panel in the Leonardo Design Studio software and how useful it can really be. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up the layers panel underneath the properties tab. And you can see each one of the layers of this shadow box design. So I'm just going to drag this shadow box off to the left hand side for a second. And then you need to decide what size you are going to be creating your shape as or what shape you are going to be using. So I'm going to grab this circle. I'm going to change the circle and I can come back here to the color picker and just choose a color that's not in the design. And then I'm going to use the width and the height, I'm going to keep my aspect closed. So this little lock is closed because I used the shift key when I drew the circle. It is a perfect circle. So if I come in here, I'm going to just simply type eight and hit enter, and it's going to adjust that. So we're going to use an eight inch circle as our example. Now, if I come over here, select my design, I can't simply just use the eight inch circle because, let me click on the blue and send this to back. Because there are parts outside of that design. Let me undo that so you can see this here. So here, if I move my mouse over, you can see that the green is highlighted. There are parts of the design that are outside of my circle. So the first thing, undo that so it goes back to where it was. And then the first thing I need to do is I need to scale this design down and every single design is going to vary. What I'm looking for is I need all of the pieces inside of the rectangle to fit inside of this circle. So I'm going to click on my circle and choose send to back here so it's all the way at the back. And then I'm going to move this over here and I can take a look and make sure that all of the pieces of the design are within that circle. That's going to give me a good idea. Now, in the next steps, you simply cannot use the centering option because not all of these elements are centered onto the page the same, or onto each layer the same. So what I'm going to do is make a copy of this shadow box. So I'm gonna come over here to the layers panel because it's very easy to see all of those layers and to select them. 
So with all of the layers of my shadow box selected, I'm going to choose Control C, Control V, and now the second copy is selected here. I am going to right click on that and choose group, and now it's one grouping, and I could rename this as well. So this is my original. So then I'm just going to grab that original and I'm going to move it off over here. And this is just in case you need to start over, you have that sizing already ready for you. Now, this is where it's pretty cool in the layers panel. So I have a total of six layers here. In order to change the outside edge to a circle, I'm going to need six of these blue circles. So if I control C, control V, it puts all of the, the next layer down at the bottom here. I'm going to just continue to do that until I have five more. So I have a total of five. If I click on one of these, hold my shift key down, click on the bottom one, it selects it, and then I'm going to drag that up in my layers panel. So all of those blue circles are together. Now I'm going to turn, click on this little eyeball here and I'm going to turn those layers off. And the reason that I have these in this exact location is I wanna work with only two pieces at a time, but I do not want any other parts of my design to move. So I have one circle that is showing. And then if I come down here, I wanna start working with one layer at a time. So I'm going to turn the little eyeballs off and you're gonna see those turn off on my screen. So I am working with one layer, this layer here, and the circle at the same time. Now, you can also view this in wireframe view if you'd like to. It really just depends on how you work. That's a lot of lines going across each other and sometimes it helps and sometimes for me it doesn't. What I'm going to show you here is I I'm going to click on the sea turtle shadow box layer. You can see it's highlighted here. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose paths and break paths. And it's going to turn a solid square. Don't panic. We're going to click off of it and then click on the very edge of this rectangle and drag it away. So now we have taken the layer that we were working on, the sea turtle layer, and we actually broke it up into pieces. So all of these little pieces are now individual pieces. And then we are going to left click, drag across the entire design and right click and choose paths and combine paths. And now we have a circle framed layer. The next thing you're going to do is come over here to the color picker and the little color pick eyedrop tool. And then I can grab this color of the original shape and it's going to change to the original shape. Now I'm done with this layer, I can move it off to the side. And then I'm gonna click back on my layers panel and I'm going to move to the next shape. So this sea turtle here, I'm gonna unclick the eyeball, it's gonna show up. I'm going to unclick the eyeball for the circle and then I'm going to do the same steps. So I'm going to click on this circle, right click, paths, break paths, grab, the outer rectangle, and then left click, drag across everything, right click and choose paths, combine paths. And then I come back to my color picker so I can keep my colors the same. Move this off, and then you're going to repeat that for all of the layers. So I'm going to uncheck that, uncheck that one, and I can repeat that for all of those layers. So now I've sped this video up to go through the rest of the layers for my design. It is the same exact steps that you are repeating over and over again. And it is a great way to get used to working with the layers panel in the Caesar Leonardo Design Studio software and also with paths or compound paths. It depends on where you came from, what your terminology might be. Now, when I get to my final layer, there is, it's your backing. There is nothing in this file on this particular layer, so I can just simply move that off to the side. It's kind of a lighter color here. I'm gonna undo that. First thing I wanna do is select my um, blue circle, come to my color picker, and I'm going to choose that color. Now it's hard to see, but now I can move off my rectangle. And then what you can do is you can left click, drag across all of your new design with the circle frame, and we're going to use the align center, align middle, 
And now you have your circle frame at an eight inch size. And here is our original resize down to fit within that circle frame. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications of future content on the Swift Creek Customs channel. More information is linked in the description below, including a video on how you can create your own shadow box in the Caesar Leonardo Design Studio software. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.